Come on, wait a minute. Anybody, come on, anybody. Say, it weighed you down, but God, he held me close so I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me so I, so I wouldn't let go. Truth be glory to God. I tell you, I tell people all the time, it's all right for give up to get on you long as it don't get in you. Glory to God. Hear what I'm saying? It's all right for, for it's all right for it to get on you long as it don't get in you. But it said, come on here. It said, but he, he held me close. So I wouldn't let go. So I'm here today because God kept me. I'm alive today. Somebody feel this thing already. Only because of his grace, he kept me. Come on, my God kept me. My God kept me. I, I just had to declare that thing to you. While we're doing that, let's honor our apostle. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. And we thank God. As I was saying, as, as now, and when you mature and you start singing things, you know, in season. See, sometimes, sometimes you can sing songs that don't, it don't have power or weight to it un until you experience some things. You see what I'm saying? You, 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 can, you, can, you can sing, I need, see, I need the old don't make sense until you're in a storm and you got to lift your, lift your voice. I need, you, see, see so some songs don't make sense until you go through some storms. See, see you, you can sing it without no story. But 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 my toe, yeah, about but but when you go through something, see, I know it was the blood gets powerful when you know that one day you was lost, and it was Jesus that died on the cross. See, if you ain't never been lost, you won't understand what I'm saying. I'm talking about getting dressed and don't know where you're going. I'm talking about waking up feeling like there's no purpose. You don't know what happened one day when I was lost. It carries a greater weight when you experience something. Let me just say this. I want to prophesy. I'm getting ready to read the scripture I'm going to preach. Here's a word to tell somebody that has been going through a storm. Can I tell you that your storm just caused your net worth to increase? Because you went through your value just increased. Here is why. Because somebody died in what you survived. Don't do this this morning. Somebody lost their mind in what you came through. Okay, I got I to gotta move now. Come on, somebody that broke down under, come on here, under what God that let you come through. I'm going to move. I'm moving. I'm gonna, give me a few minutes. Count me down. I jumped up. Mother messed me up and she said, I'm not wearing the oxygen mask no more. See, you, can, you can't say that around people like me. Glory to God. See, it don't, it don't, you ain't got to buy me no house, no car, no money. It's the little things I'm thinking. Listen, I'm not wearing no, I, come on, that's something to praise God for. I'm telling you. We, we write down things on our list, but I thank God just for the activities of my limbs. I'm glad I still can breathe. I still can wave my hands. I still can lift my legs. Come on here. Anybody say, God, I'm just thankful. If you don't do another thing, I thank you for, listen, God has done so much. I can praise him for what he's done last year. That's how good he is. Let's grab our Bibles. Ooh, I feel the anointing. I'm not even going to better get through this. I feel a stranger. My toe, da, ba, 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 ta, ta, ta. I feel something staring in here. Mando shanda zore be kande be koshia. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody needs a miracle. Somebody came today saying, God, I need a breakthrough. Somebody been pulling on God. Somebody in this place like the woman with the issue of blood. Somebody in touch to him of his garment. I'm telling you, I feel something strange getting ready to break out. I dare you to look down your row and say, give me some room. Give me some room. Give me some room. Give me some room. Me some room. I feel something something shifted in my belly uh, that's getting ready to change my season uh, that's getting ready to shift my family uh, I'm telling you right now that chains are breaking 
again. Because of your worship, your children will never see the giants that you defeated. of your worship you will have the scars to prove what you survived some scars you shouldn't cover you should keep it's a reminder of what I've been through some of you want to get rid of what reminds you but sometimes you need a thorn to remind you if it had not been for the Lord who stayed on my side few moments let's get ready to go to Luke uh, Luke real quick Jesse don't do that because I'm gonna start prophesying let's go to Luke <laughs> don't do that because I'm gonna start prophesying I'm telling you now <laughs> glory to God glory to God I'm telling you glory to God go to Luke chapter 5 I'm telling you now my Torah I'm telling you now God is staring something so amazing in this atmosphere Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. See, y'all just heard mother said she took the, she don't wear it no more. But some of you don't realize is that if God did it for her in this atmosphere, you could be healed right now and don't even know it. Your situation could be changed right now and you don't even know it. You, glory to God, I'm telling you right now, when you go home, your situation can be changed. Because if he did it for her, that means he's in the neighborhood. So y'all missing what I'm saying. Don't sit in your house. Come out on the porch. That means he's in the neck. My God. Closed mouths don't get fed. Some people don't get breakthroughs because they're too cute for breakthroughs. You got to keep your composter. You don't want to mess up your outfit. But I tell you, don't wear nothing. You can't praise a man. Don't wear nothing you can't give them glory in. If you can't shout in the heels, take them off. If the eyelashes is messing up your worship, rip them jokers off. I'm telling you right now, you can't have no hindrance when it comes to God. You get them fixed later on. Sometimes you got to get ready to go to war. My toes. Woo. Sometimes you got to get ready to go to war. I'm fighting for my, you come on here. Sometimes you got to get ready to go to war. Too many of you too quiet. The devil been messing with your family. Been messing with your bloodline. Been messing with your mind. Been messing with your vision. Been messing with your dream. And you mean to tell me you're going to sit there like everything's all right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This ain't no physical fight. This ain't one you roll up your sleeve. This one when you get on your knees. You can't go up without going down. Down is the way. Down is the way. Down is the way. Down is the way. First Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due season, he will increase you. But you got to be willing to go down. Down. Some folks too arrogant to go down, down, down. You want to be elevated? Go down. You want God to shift you? Go down. Come on. You want God to, to do it in your life? You got to be willing to decrease. You can't live in God can live. You got to let him live in you. You got to let him dwell in you. Revival is about to happen in your spirit. The word revival is not a service. Revival means awakening, which means something that has lied, something that lay dormant is coming to life again. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, something on the inside of you is getting ready to live again. The thing you thought was finished, you thought was over, you thought was complete. You thought you wasn't qualified. You thought you wasn't ready. You thought you didn't have what it takes. No, put them first. God said, no, it's your season to be first. I'm moving. Man of God with the green. 
I hear the Lord saying prophetically to tell you that this is a season that I am causing you and I'm pushing you to a season called greater. For the Lord said to tell you that I allowed the things that you have faced in your past because they were necessary. But the Lord says that he is allowing you to, I see like a mentor. He says he will allow you to mentor other people where you will tell your testimony and people will know because of the things you survive. And the Lord said to tell you, glory to God. I hear a Jeremiah 29. He says, for I have a plan for you, a plan to prosper you. For the Lord says many people have counted you out. They have said that he's not going to make it. They have said we don't know how he's going to get through this. But the Lord said to tell you that you are my son, that I love you, that I'm proud of you. And the Lord said that you are not what you was. The Lord says this next three, my toe, the next three to six months, the Lord said he's like giving you a makeover. They're going to start to see you different. Huh? The Lord said, I'm stretching your influence. My, my toe, Zandarabo. I don't even know if you have a suit, but I see like a shirt and tie. The Lord said, he can make that you sit at different tables. Huh? Said the spirit of God huh? and glory to God. Huh? The Lord said, he's making room for you, huh? says God. Huh? And he says, not only do my, my toe, Rosha, Zandarabama. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Finances shall not be a problem. For the Lord said to tell you, uh, man of God, I'm even healing concerning you. Somebody stretch forth your right hand. Your turn is approaching. Says the Spirit of God. Says the Spirit of God. Says the Spirit. Never to be bound again. Says the Spirit of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I see something so great concerning you. I see like 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 like, 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 you know how like a light that's dim and you can turn it down, but the, the light is brightening up concerning you. He's like, it's like, you know how you have a light that's dim and you can turn the switch down and up, down and up. But I see the light concerning you is coming up. He's increasing. He's causing you to light up more. He's causing, I'm telling you, I literally see it getting ready to happen. My, people not going to better just walk past you in this season because I'm telling you, you know how when somebody just regular and they assume they regular, God said, you ain't regular. My hand on you. Hear what I'm saying? He said, I anointed you when you was in your mother's womb. I chose you. I set you apart. For you shall be one to carry my glory, says God. Says the Spirit of God. Says the Spirit of God. There's going to be no lack. There's going to be no lack. Somebody say no lack. There's going to be no lack. Says the Spirit of God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let's get ready. Let's get ready real quick. Oh my Lord, y'all done, done did this now. Glory to God. So ta da da ba ba ta 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 da ba koshi anda. Oh da da man do do so ko da da man dere. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mother, mother, mother. They said that you wasn't on the oxygen tank no more. I want to just tell you. I don't want to prophesy. Just a quick prophecy and tell you. That, that I know you said you took you took it off and you had it off, but I want to tell you, I hear the Holy Spirit saying to tell you that because of what you went through and what you're surviving and what you're surviving, that nobody else in your family will have to go through what you went through. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. My God. See, I just I just I just want to tell you that sometimes you gotta to talk to chain breakers. Somebody just declare I'm the chain breaker in my family. I'm the I'm the chain breaker in my family. People, I told people to tell all the time, it runs through my family. It don't run through my family. It ran through my family until it met me. It don't run through. It ran through until it met me. Look at somebody say, I'm the giant killer. It ran through until it met me. See, some of you scared of stuff that's scared of you. We used to sing that song, I'm coming up the rough side. Of the, and I had to stop singing that. I'm coming up the rough side. Of, the, Bible didn't, the Bible said you speak to the mountain. And the mountain. See, you climbing up stuff God said all you got to do is speak to. See, that's why, that's why your strength is gone. Because you applying. See, you climbing stuff that, stuff that got to it responds when you speak. You'll climb when you don't see God. You'll climb when you do it without God. 
You'll get exhausted in saying, God, why this not happening? Because the mountain was not a sign for you to climb. The mountain was a sign for you to speak to. Speak to those mountains. They shall be moving from here and there, says the word of God. Stay down for a few moments. Give me like 15 minutes. I'm done. Luke chapter 5, 17. Let's set me a quick one. Luke 5, 17. We're going to go there. Luke 5, 17. I believe the Lord is doing something so incredible and so amazing. Luke 5, 17. Luke 5, 17. Luke 5, 17. You got that thing? When you got to say, I got the bread. Come on, I got the bread. Luke 5, 17. And it says, uh, 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 and it says one day Jesus was teaching and, and the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were sitting there. And, and they, had, they had come from every village of Galilee, from Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord, here it is now, was with Jesus to heal the sick. Um, verse 18 said, and some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. And they tried to take him into the house to lay him, watch this, before Jesus. Verse 19 says, watch this now. It says, when they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof. And they lowered him on the mat. Uh, here it is now through the tiles uh, in the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. Uh, skip down. Here it is now to about verse 25. Uh, and immediately he stood up in front of them, took, here it is now, he took what he was lying on and praised God. And everyone was amazed and they gave praise to God. Uh, here it is now. And they were filled with awe. And here is what they said. Uh, we have seen remarkable things today. Uh, for a few moments, just give me about 15 moments. I'm about to start my timer. For a few moments. I just want to preach and teach from the subject. I, I've survived too much to keep quiet. Uh, just do me a favor. Just do me a favor. Uh, I got the, my timer going. You got to get with me for 15 minutes. I uh, uh, just look at somebody and tell them uh, I survived too much uh, to keep quiet. I, you ain't talking. I need you to talk to me for a few moments. Uh, don't waste my time, y'all. I said just look down your row and tell somebody uh, that I've survived too much uh, to keep quiet. No, don't talk to somebody you rode here with. Uh, I need you to get out of your seat. I need you to stand to your feet. I need you to look around uh, and tell somebody else, uh, I survived too much uh, to keep quiet. Uh, I survived too much uh, to keep quiet. All right. Uh, uh, listen, I, I hear the sound of survivors. I hear the sound of people that been through some things. I hear the sound of people uh, that got a testimony. Uh, uh, here it is now. Here it is now. Now, here it is now. When we look at the scripture, you may be seated because that's so powerful when you think about it. I survived too much to keep quiet because it is the devil, it is the adversary's job and agenda to shut your mouth. The devil wants you to be quiet. He wants to make your praise be silent. The devil wants to paralyze your worship. He wants you to be mad at God because if you're mad at God, then you can't praise who you mad at. The devil don't want you to be so irritated with church. He wants you to stop coming to Bible study. He wants you to stop coming to church. He has no problem with you reading the word as long as you don't apply it. The devil has no problem with you hearing the preach word as long as you don't start working it. And it is the enemy's job. He wants you to be silent because he understands that if you ever tap into the full potential uh, that is on the inside of you, uh, then you are a threat to the enemy. Uh, I dare you look around one time, just tell your neighbor, uh, I am a threat. Come on here. Uh, I am a threat. Uh, every morning you wake up and put your foot on the ground, uh, the devil is defeated. Every morning uh, you open your mouth and you say, Lord, I thank you. Uh, you letting God know uh, that the devil didn't shut your mouth. Uh, you have the right to remain silent but I choose not to. Uh, oh folks, it's like this, this joy that I have. Uh, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. Uh, and what happens is a lot of times uh, we allow the world to take our joy. Uh, you allow people to take your joy. Uh, you allow people to take your peace. Uh, but you gotta understand uh, that I survived 
too much for me to keep quiet. I survived too much for me to try to belittle what I've been through to make you feel good. I didn't been, come on here. You didn't survive. You didn't been through some stuff. And can I give you this? Some of you don't even realize what you survived because you are so immune to the struggle. And so because you're so immune to it, you survived it and you don't even realize you was in it because you have gotten so lived to living through struggles. But God told me to tell you that just don't celebrate the big seasons. You got to go back and celebrate the little giant that you defeated. I don't know who I'm talking to. Here it is again. It's not the big giants that made me who I am, but it is the little giants that I defeated in private. And can I just suggest to you that you're not going to shout over the big things that you defeated, but there's some stuff that you defeated in private that folks don't know nothing about. See, you told them your cute testimony, but I'm talking about the testimony that you don't want to tell, the stuff you've been through, the stuff you survive, the stuff you put yourself in, and you know nobody got you out but God. Okay, let me come down your street. I'm talking about the stuff you said, God, if you get me out this time, I never go back. There ain't none of y'all. God, if you do it this time, Lord, I promise I ain't going to do that again. I'm talking about the stuff you said, God, if you get me in this way. I'm talking about when you made a promise to God and you dropped your part of the deal, but God stayed faithful. Got a few minutes, a few minutes. Um, uh, I survived, I survived, I survived too much mm, uh, uh, to keep quiet. Uh, uh, here it is now, can I tell you something? Uh, and I have to give you this. God, uh, and I got to speak on behalf of God when I say this. Uh, God is not in the business of blessing quiet people. Uh, God, see, because uh, a blessing a quiet person doesn't give God glory. Uh, uh, see, here it is now. God is a God. He doesn't have to worship himself. He's so God. He says, if you don't praise me, I'll have a rock to cry out. So here is, here is how good God here is now. If you quiet, there's no need for God to bless a quiet person uh, because how do he get glory from a closed mouth person? Uh, so what God does is uh, he looks for somebody with a big mouth uh, and he says, I'll bless them because uh, their mouth's so big, uh, they'll tell everybody, uh, God made a way. Uh, God opened the door. God healed my family. Uh, God brought me out. Can I tell you what God did? Uh, can I tell you what he won't he do it? Huh? Come on, like he said it. Come on. God is looking for somebody that got a big mouth. Because when you quiet, he can't get glory because the only person know about it is you. But you got to testify so much. Uh, people say, oh, here she come. Uh, oh, here he go. Keep talking about the goodness. Uh, keep, come on here. Uh, on the job, they run when they come. You got to be talking about God so much. Uh, So if you have a big mouth, it qualifies you for a miracle. Because if God knows I'm going to testify, that, let, me, let me give you an, an, an idea. right? If you broke and God give you an unexpected 50,000 out of nowhere. So I'm like, okay. I receive. There we go. All right. <laughs> I was waiting for one. I receive. Okay. If God was to give you 50,000 out of nowhere, somebody may just put it in the count, go on down to Tyson's corner, shopping, glory to God, I ain't said nothing. But there's somebody, when they get it, they're going to pay their tithes. There's somebody that's going to get in church. That's going to jump up and say, first giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. I want to thank God because he opened a door for me this week and he blessed me financially. Can I tell you my bills was backed up, but God made a way. Can I tell you I was rotten dirty, but God gave me the money. Can I tell you, come on here. Can I tell you I didn't have money for tuition, but God opened a door and he gave me extra for vacation. Is there anybody in here that understands that when you testify, God can pour? Could it be, could it be, it's not that God's hand is stuck, it's that your mouth is stuck. He does not pour on people who do not testify. Because what good is it to do it for 
for you and you keep silent. For we overcome by the blood of the land, lamb and by the word of their what? Of their testimony. Your testimony is a product of what you survived. Look at this. Uh, one day I got my time, my time. One day, one day, one day, one day Jesus was teaching. Watch this now. Here it is now. And, 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 and the Pharisees teach. Watch this now. The law. They were sitting there. And the scripture says that there was a man, watch this, who was paralyzed. The scripture says that this man was paralyzed, which uh, struggled with the spirit, uh, spirit of infirmity. He could not move. Uh, he, he could not do for himself. Uh, and he was just stuck. And he knew God was there. He knew God was moving. Uh, and he's saying to himself, literally, uh, how am I going to get to God? Is there anybody in this place uh, that ever felt paralyzed? Uh, and I'm not talking about a natural paralyzer, but you ever felt like you just couldn't move uh, and felt like I'm just stuck and feel like I can't get out of the bed and feel like, uh, uh, come on here, I can't get it together and feel like every time I start to write the dream, huh, you know, something ain't working. Huh? And every time I start the new job, a new job, huh, then here come this problem. Huh? You in the season where you just feel paralyzed. Huh? It feel like every time I try to read the Bible, huh, I start falling asleep. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Huh? Every time I start trying to pray, huh, I run out of stuff to pray. Huh? And I say, God ain't hear me. Huh? I just feel paralyzed. Huh? It feel like everybody's moving, huh? but I ain't going nowhere. Huh? It feel like I'm on the treadmill running, going nowhere fast. You, sometimes you just feel paralyzed. Feel like there is no movement. But can I suggest to you that this word is for you. I come to tell you that God is about to let you survive something else. Do me a favor. Look down your row and tell your neighbor, you get ready to add something else to your resume. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. You getting ready to add something else to your resume. Apostle, I got to go. Uh, understand on a job, uh, uh, a resume. When you have a resume, uh, a resume, it shows you a list of qualifications uh, and a list of things. Here it is now uh, that you have done, a list of things that you have been through, a list of things that you have experienced, uh, and it shows you a list of qualifications. Uh, can I tell you that that last season that you survived, uh, it is now on your resume. Uh, so that when you go, my God, uh, to this next season, uh, you can look back at your resume. And say, remember when I was sick, but I praised him, and now this happened. Remember when I was broke, but I still lift my hand, I still gave what I had. See, sometimes God has to allow you to build your resume. Because the next season, you're going to have to check off this, I've been through this. You're going to have to check off that, I didn't been through that. You have to check off this, and can I tell you something? When you learn how to go through things, glory to God, it takes the power from the enemy. See, can I tell you something? The enemy backs off you when, you, when he knows that he he can't mess with you. What do you mean by that? If every time a storm comes and you fold, the enemy knows to keep messing with you. But can I tell you something? But if you bold and you got the word of God and you got the power of God, the enemy knows not to mess with a person that can stand flat footed. And that can say Isaiah 54 and 17 says uh, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Uh, yeah, see, the enemy knows, uh, glory to God, uh, because for some people, uh, when attacks come, uh, they fold. Uh, but there's some people, uh, the more you attack me, uh, the more I praise them. Uh, the more this happens, uh, the more I give them glory. Uh, and the devil say, uh, don't mess with that person because uh, they're going to bless God more. Uh, let me mess with somebody uh, that do not know how to pray. He does not mess with praises. It is now. It says uh, a few moments. I got a few moments. I'm done. It says it says something. Something that we're carrying. They were carrying. Watch this. They were carrying a, a paralyzed man on the mat. Watch this now. And they tried to take him in the house and lay him before Jesus. Uh, but the scripture says, watch this. Uh, but, but but the scripture says uh, that they could not get into the house uh, uh, because here it is now. Uh, because watch this. Uh, because the house. Uh, it was so many people outside of the house. Uh, uh, let me break it down for a few moments. Uh, uh, they could not get into the house. 
because uh, uh, there were uh, so many people uh, outside of the house. If you can give me about four people for a moment, four people for a moment, just four people come for me quick. Four people come really quickly. Uh, and I need you to just line up in a straight line here. Uh, and I'm getting ready to move. Four people just line up in a straight line just beside each other, just beside each other. Uh, just line up. Here it is now. Uh, so you have to understand. Here it is now. Uh, you have to understand. Here it is now. Uh, uh, the, the, the paralyzed man, uh, he could not um, uh, get into the house um, uh, of where Jesus was. Uh, uh, come here for a moment. You'll be Jesus on the other side. Uh, I need you to be on the other side. Come on, walk like Jesus. Walk like Jesus. Come on here. I need you. Come on here. And you have to understand. Come on, Jesus. Start doing miracles back there. And so what happens is he could not get on the other side because there were people that, that, that were blocking him. And he's saying, I'm paralyzed. And I've been in this season for too long. And I, and I can't I can't, I can't, I can't just take this no for an answer. It's just like the woman issue of blood. I didn't made it this far. And you think I'm going to turn around and go home. See, a lot of you, you, you quit too early. You're too close to your breakthrough. You give up too early. When, when you don't see a way in, you say, I'm done with it. Some of you ought to go back and pick up your towel. And so what happens is we find that, that, that this man, this man, watch this now. This man says, according to scripture, that he could not get in. He paralyzed. He could not move. He could not get in because they were blocking it. Matter of fact, turn around if you can. Because the scripture says that they were getting Jesus for themselves. And it was no way for him to get into the house. Come on, block me. Come on, get a little closer. Get a little tighter. Get a little tighter. Uh, can, can I get in for a minute? Uh, and the scripture says there was no way uh, for him to get in. Uh, I'm paralyzed. I came all the way this way. I got in my car. Uh, I stopped at Royal Farms, got some gas. Uh, uh, come on, I came all the way here. Uh, I've been going through all week. Uh, come on, I didn't face hell on my job, hell in my marriage, uh, hell with my children. Come on here. Uh, and you mean to tell me I can't get what I need? Uh, I didn't press here. Uh, I had a devil on the right, devil on the left. Uh, this going on, money funny. Uh, I got the judge, I got the court. Come on here. You got your baby mother, got child support. Put everything going on crazy and you trying to figure out how you going to get through this the doctor saying one thing and I'm trying to get to Jesus and cannot get through can I suggest to you that sometimes you got to hold on and still press I just seen I just seen I think it was Kendrick Lamar that just said this he says sometimes you have to go through the red light and just trust God and I don't know who I'm talking to but a lot of you just because the door is closed you think it's locked God told me tell you that every close door isn't locked. Let me say it again. I said every closed door isn't locked. Just because the door is shut, God want to see if you got faith to turn the knob. And there's some of you that you walk to the door and you leave because it's not open. But what you don't realize is that you got to do something. The knob is waiting for you. God is saying that when you turn the knob, something going to shift. Okay, let me hurry up. My time is gone. So the scripture says that he cannot get to Jesus. He could not get to Jesus. Uh, so, so, so what happens? Uh, because I cannot get to Jesus. Uh, I'm paralyzed. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how. I came all the way this way. Uh, hear what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get to him. And truth be told, I know I need him. Oh my God, I know I need him. And I gotta get to him. Anybody in this place that ever said I need him? I'm in church and I'm in here, but I still need him. I'm worshiping, but I still need him. I'm a preacher and I still need him. I worship and my toll on the and I still need him. I stay at the altar and I still need him. Anybody that ever said I still need him? I just need God. I just need God. And this man, why he's staying there? The Bible, the Bible, the Bible said that four of his friends, can I get four new friends? Can I get four new friends? Come quickly. Four friends, just four friends, just four friends. I got to give you a demonstration of the text, just four friends. The Bible says that four of his friends, I need you, come on, you ain't got to lift me, but come on. In fact, y'all could, no, glory to God. I want you to come on, just walk me over there. We're going to just walk over here. Excuse me, glory to God. The Bible says four of his friends, watch the text now. Uh, the Bible says that four, I was going to have you carry me, but I don't want to put you through that. The Bible says, uh, 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 would, would that make it sound better? Uh, the scripture says, we good, uh, that four of his friends, uh, they carried him uh, up the roof. Uh, can I tell you this? Here it is now. Uh, uh, the Bible says that four of his friends, uh, because they could not get in the back way, uh, they took him up the roof. Uh, and so when they took him up the roof, uh, they were trying to lower him down. 
down. Let's pause before I talk about that. Here is what I want to talk about, my four friends. Because can I suggest to you that you ought to thank God for people that truly love you. Because that's so glory to God. When you got somebody that's not with you for your money, when you got somebody that just love you, you ought to honor them. Because there's too many people that say they're your friends that will see you paralyzed and stuck, but will leave you. But the Bible said that he got four friends. Matter of fact, y'all got to pick me up. Let's get me up from here now. The Bible says that he got four friends that said, you can't stay here. You got to get up. He had four friends that said, this ain't going to be it. You're going to see him. And the scripture said that when they lowered him down, he was right in front of Jesus. You can lower me. When they lowered him down, he was right in front of Jesus. Here's the word I got to give you. They could not get in one way. God told me to tell you that I made them close the door. Because if I did not make them close the door, you would have never had faith to trust me for another way. Y'all good? Huh? And if I did not, here it is now, huh? make them close the door, huh? you would not trust me, huh? glory to God, huh? for this next level. Huh? Here is the testimony. Huh? I got to get out of here. Huh? My time has come up. Huh? Can I tell you, huh? here is why I thank my four friends. Huh? Because here is why I thank them. Huh? Because even when I was weak, huh? they didn't drop me. I got to get out of here. Huh? Can I tell you something? Huh? You need some people in your circle huh? that when you can't get up, huh? that when you can't move, get my stuff, I'm done. Huh? You need somebody in your circle huh? that when you can't get it together, huh? that will pick you up. Huh? Girl, get up. Huh? Boy, stand up. Huh? You can't live here. Huh? You can't die here. Huh? There's more in you. Huh? I know you want to quit, huh? but keep going. Huh? Keep going. Huh? Keep pressing. Huh? There's still vision. Huh? There's still life. Huh? They didn't let him stay there, huh? but they carried him. <laughs> I thank God for my fantastic four. I'm done. I'm going to give you this. The scripture says, I'm paraphrasing, I'm done. My time is gone. They lowered him down, watch it, right in front of Jesus. So if he would have came in the back way, he wouldn't have got to Jesus because there were so many people. So he would have still been in the back. So in other words, God had the back block off because you didn't need a backseat miracle. What you needed was to be a first. And he was lowered down in the front of Jesus. And watch the text now. Jesus says that he healed him because of their faith. I'm done. He healed him because of their faith. Let me say it again. He healed him because of their faith. Because they didn't let him stay there. He did it because of their faith. Now, you say when he says that your faith because you can't see faith. But faith is not something you see. Faith is action. For faith without works is dead, but understand here it is now. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So what is faith? Faith, here it is, Hebrews 11. Now faith is a, faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now, so now faith is the confidence and the things I hope for, which I don't have the ability to hold in my hand. So their faith caused them to see themselves in the house before they got in the house. See, the reason why some of you don't have your breakthrough is because you don't see it before you see it. Some of y'all going to catch it on the way home. Oh, that's what he was talking about. Huh? Hear what I'm saying. Huh? You got to see it before you see it. Huh? And the scripture says huh, that that glory to God, the full people, huh, they carried him in huh, and they lowered him down. And the scripture says because their faith, huh, God did it for him. Huh? Can I tell you, huh, and here's what I got to go and I got to let you go. Huh? God's about to give you four people huh, that's going to love you for you. Huh? God's about to send you people huh, that's going to have your back. Huh? Here, I'm telling you, huh, that's going to make sure you're good. Huh? That's going to call you. Huh? I'm not trying to ask you for nothing. I'm just saying I'm here to push you. 
We can stand. My time is up. My time is up. I cut this show. We'll do it another time. But it was four. Because we got to get to this. It was four that lifted him and carried him. And it's so amazing. Because you got some people that if they walk in and you broke down, as long as I'm walking, I'm good. Y'all know what you Come on. Some folks saying, if you, you go into something, call me and tell me. They don't really know what was going on. And you know, nowadays we're in a day and time where people really don't care about, care about people no more. You know, it's really as long as I'm good and so, and so I don't really care that you're going through it. I really don't care that you're depressed and so. And you know, social media, and I got to make like I'm the next thing. I got to put this on there and I got to post something. I got to fake something. We just in a race and I just got to do that. I got to be here. And girl, I can't help you because I got to make it act like my business blooming. I got to do Why we got to always stop faking? People get in church, oh, well, I got it together. Please, don't you know? We're not in here because we got it together. We in here because we need God. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, I don't go to church. Church folks, phony. Why you think we're here? Because we got some stuff to work on. That's just like you going to the gym. That's like you saying, I'm not going to the gym because they out of weight. That is so stupid. What you think the gym is for? I ain't going. They out of weight. They, they on the fit, man. I ain't going. Why you think we're here? Because we need God. We ain't here because the glory to God from the front to the back. From the pulpit to the back, I need God. I, don't, I need God. I'm a mess without him. I'm glad you only see me with him. See, y'all the, see some of y'all, glory to God. You think about myself, I ain't God with me. Glory to God. See, some people, I'm telling you. Glory to God. You'll be lucky they ain't never see you without him. That attitude and how you get. Come on here. You reckon, I mean, glory to God can get real nasty. Thank God. Come on, thank God they don't see you without him. Some folks will leave God if they seen you without him. If they see me without God, they wouldn't want God. I thank God he know how to dress up my mess. All right. Let's pray so we can get ready for this. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you, God, for your word. Father, we know, God, that you are awesome and you are amazing. Father, we thank you, God, because even when one door is closed, God, you're going to give us another door. You're going to give us another way. And so, Father, we bless you. We magnify you. We give you praise, honor, and glory. For, Lord, you are amazing. Lord, you are incredible, and we honor you. And, Father, we say, God, your word says, God, because of their faith, he was healed. And so, Father, we say, God, that you will surround us with people, God, that have faith for our next level. And, Father, we thank you. We praise you. We give you honor, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody put those blessed hands together and say, (laughs) 